just when you thought there were enough Arab and Muslim stereotypes on TV to fill a lifetime of Homeland episodes, the producer of that show has come up with a new series. It's called Tyrant and it premiered on FX Tuesday night. The show is about a doctor who lives in California who's also Arab, but you wouldn't be able to tell since the actor who plays him is white. Anyway, after 20 years abroad, he returns to a fictitious yet repressive Arab country ruled by his dictator dad. Hmm, a western educated doctor returning home to his powerful ruling family. Where have I heard that one before? He also takes his cookie cutter all American family with him. I'm not going. You're going. And you may remember what dangers lie ahead when a brown man takes his family back home. Or what happens when pop culture takes a stab at the Arab Spring. And surprise, surprise. The tyrant offers up the same racist cliches that have plagued the Middle East far too long. Where to even start? Well, you've got the classic Arab man chilling on a sand dune shot, oppressed masses versus a wealthy Arab dictator living in an ostentatious palace, public executions, terrorists are planning to attack the women, and multiple rape scenes carried out by an Arab man against silent women. That Arab man is the sadistic Jamal. Little brother. He seems to be based off of Saddam Hussein's infamous son, Uday. But you know, some had high hopes for the series. America's Muslim Public Affairs Council was actually included in the creative process, but that clearly didn't do much. And as Love Inshallah rightly tweeted, Muslims greenlighting stereotypes gives producers the ability to say, don't complain, your people were involved. But shows don't always get away with racism. After major backlash, ABC Family pulled its controversial pilot, Alice in Arabia. The show was about an American girl in Saudi Arabia who gets kidnapped by her grandfather. Oh, and he just happened to have the same name as an imam allegedly linked to Al-Qaeda. As for Tyrant, I'm guessing Bashar al-Assad's reign will last longer than the show. Either way, it hasn't won a fan here. Besides, as Remy Kanazi points out, if I want to view racist tropes about Arabs and Muslims, I don't need to watch Tyrant, I can just turn on cable news. So, will you be watching Tyrant? Tell us why or why not. And don't forget to share and subscribe to AJ+. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.